This is an AMI This Week shortcut. Paddles up, back paddle. I'm Grant Hardy for Accessible Media. We produced a segment on the BC Blind Sports Vision Impossible Dragon Boat Team for AMI a couple years ago, and I met the team manager and coach. What I loved was the enthusiasm, and they were gearing up for a festival in a couple of weeks, and I just loved the excitement I felt, and so I said to the manager, you know, I really want to join this team next year. Welcome to practice this morning, three till we race. My name is Pam Workington, and I am the coach of Vision Impossible Dragon Boat Team. It's a lovely, lovely group of people. Every day, every week, every season, there is improvement. Everybody works hard, and they're the heart, they, they bring their heart to the boat every week. Well, what kind of a paddler would you say I am? You're a passionate paddler, and you're a curious paddler, and you are an analytical paddler, right? Some, some people just kind of go with it, and, and you like to know, you like to know the bits. So, so for you, we break it down. I break it down a little bit more. For, for others, they're, they're kind of willing to go with the flow. You're analytical. So I maybe overthink right? it a little bit. No, not at all. It's just your style, right? Everybody's style is different. One, two, three. You know, I've remained committed to the team because it's just such a highlight of the week. I always look forward to my Saturdays. I love the team, just socializing with them. I think it's a great workout, which is something that I really need. Um, and oftentimes we just hang out, maybe go out for a bite after practice. Um, so I think it's really just the enthusiasm that everyone brings and the great social experience. Um, my name is Amy Amanti. I'm the team manager for Vision Impossible. Uh, I love being a part of Vision Impossible. It's been a fantastic outlet for me as a person with vision loss to meet other people with vision loss, to uh, get involved in sport and be active. I think dragon boating provides a really unique gift, actually, for people with vision loss. When you're on the boat, it doesn't matter whether you can see or not because you can feel the movement of the water, you're in sync with your teammates, and you move as sort of one person as you propel the boat forward. So it's of no consequence either way as to whether I have vision or not, or anybody has vision. One, two. I feel much more connected to the community I actually joined at a time when I was lonely and I just lost my guide dog and I actually wasn't even really that mobile at the time. And it was something that motivated me to kind of get through the week because it was something I really looked forward to.